Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. Yes, it is that time once again when uh, this lot are going to be tasked with trying to uh, hunt me down. We're going for the Taskmaster variant of this. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. They're good fun to do. So that is what we are going to be trying. I don't know what on earth they're doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's got cars creeping over. Um, you know what? That's not weird and terrifying at all now, is it? Uh, oh, where's the... Ah, oh, no. They've boxed us in very slowly. Uh, <laughs> quickly, run away. Uh, so the way Taskmaster 1 works is I have uh, an hour of real life time here. Not talking about game time. Game time is irrelevant in this. I have an hour to try and complete 12 tasks. Now, these tasks can be all sorts. They can range from visit a location, like Michael's house, the pier, ride the roller coaster. Uh, for example, they could be shoot out the tire on my car and drive it for a minute, or make my car chrome, or a huge number of possible options. And I have to try and, well, yeah, complete 12 of them. If I complete the 12 tasks, I win. If the hunters kill me, they win. If it gets to the hour mark and I'm still alive but not completed all the tasks, then it's a draw. Technically. Um, yeah, there can be all sorts of permutations as far as the task goes. Some can get done easily. Some can be very, very difficult. Some could take a long time. Some can be done within 30 seconds. We're going to have to wait and see how it might all unfold. And of course, while trying to complete all these objectives, I am still going to be trying to survive just the general free roam. There is no map. There is no name over players. So, stealth... I mean, in between tasks most definitely, but during the tasks as well, stealth is going to be very important. Um, uh, if I can complete a task incognito, then I've done well. Uh, if not, you hope that you can complete the task before anybody, any of the hunters are around, and then you can well, do whatever needs doing, swap cars, etc. Uh, so yeah, there's no map, no neighbor players for both me and the hunters. I'm just looking for something that's not an oracle at the moment. Don't really. A supercar rule is still in effect. Uh, I or supercar high-end sports cars. Basically, if I drive, unless I drive one, the hunters can't use them. But if I drive one, then the hunters can. Uh, so I try not to use one unless it's absolutely dire. Uh, and I'm not finding anything fun here at all. Uh, well, I mean, I'm finding lots of things fun. I'm just not finding. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of supercars. It's gonna be an oracle, really, isn't it? I don't really want an oracle, but I feel like this is just going to be the way, it's just going to be, it's the best compromise currently, um, I mean, they just give you a bright orange Lamborghini, not that it's going to stay out there for very long, uh, right, that can get hidden away so they don't know where I've gone, well, in theory, I don't know whether they'd probably struggle to track me much, uh, oh, we do need to change our clothes, though. That would be a good idea. Oh, don't want to... <coughs> oh, bloody hell. Ah, all right, that wasn't a, that wasn't part of the task. Uh, <laughs> that was just very uncalled for. Uh, and we're gonna have more sneezes. Normally sneezes come in at least pairs. No, we're only gonna have one. That surprises me, to be honest. Right, anyway. Back to surviving, possibly. Oh, we've had, I think the microphone, there's a little bit of blank audio there, I apologise, my microphone had a sneeze of its own. I've infected the microphone, oh no, that's not good. Uh, uh, right, bikes are actually quite tempting. Uh, task one, paint car brown for two minutes. Okay, I mean, that's not the worst task in the world, actually I can make this turn. Where is... Oh, hello. You were to meet me at the what the hell? Okay, sort yourself out there. Uh, where is my nearest custom shop? Airport, I would guess. Yeah, I think the airport one would be the closest. And that's probably, of all the places to go and paint a car brown, it's probably not the worst. It's... Uh, say it's a little bit quieter. Um... Potentially a little bit quieter. Although, see, the downside to a lot of people say, well, why don't I 
you know, modify a lot of these cars and so on. And it's a good call, you know, modifying the cars would make him significantly faster. I stand a better chance in a chase, you're right. The thing is, the custom shops are not empty a lot of the time when we do these. The hunters ding their cars up, uh, they want to change the colour. It's more just to repair, like if they have a car they like, you know, they, maybe they have an Oracle or, or whatever, they have a car that's doing alright for them, they'll repair it. So often you'll find hunters at custom shops. That's what makes them dangerous, basically. Uh, so it's a risk, because of course if you drive into a custom shop, there is no way an AI is doing that. I'm trying to think, maybe the LS car meet bit? Can you have great cars in there? I think you can. Because you kind of could drive past it and you'd get into it all right, maybe. The arena workshop, it's still a turning down a way that you wouldn't normally have an AI car go. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a risk. It's a big risk to, to be taking. Um, there's been a crash back there. I don't know whether that was AI caused. The AI are being derptastic today. Uh, they've been they've, they've been extra. I mean, they've been quite derpy a lot. They've been extra derpy today. Uh, <laughs> we've already seen one lock everything up and have a massive accident in front of us. So, who knows what else they're going to do. Uh, if we can get down here and we can if we to be fair if a hunter actually sees us drive in there's not much they can do they can kind of be ready for us when we leave but you know they're not going to necessarily be pointing exactly in the right place and we'll be in a chase but we could boot it to safety um, now I am while I'm here I'm going to make the most of this opportunity we can paint the car brown and while we're here, there's nothing that says I can't upgrade it. So, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. We've got to drive it for two minutes. I'm going to get my phone with a timer ready for when we leave the uh, area. So, we will respray it in some sort of miserable brown colour. Um, what sort of... Have we got... Come on. Chocolate brown, bison brown, that's terrible. Uh, I guess felser brown, sure, let's do that. And we're definitely doing the secondary colour as well, because that's not going to... Uh, oh, there's so there's so many browns! There's felser brown, there we go. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly... Oh, I forgot to do the other bits! Please don't let there be somebody here, otherwise I would have to run away immediately. Um... I meant to do the other bits while we were here because it would be rude not to. Whoop! Just in case somebody does spot us within the two minutes. I mean, it's not the most likely. Do these spawn naturally brown? I'm, I'm kind of wondering, could I get away with keeping it for longer? I want a big turbo! And... Yes, let's do that. <laughs> not too worried about the rest of it. Let's just go for the big turbo, the big engine upgrade. And let's, camera, start the timer now. Uh, okay, we have got our turbocharged... Our, I mean, at night, I think this would be okay. At night, I think we get away with it. I'm not going to chuck this car straight away. At daylight, I think it would have to go. What is the time? Oh, no, by the time we've done this two minutes, up, it's going to be 5 a.m. and it's going to basically be daylight. Damn it! <laughs> we could have almost got away with the turboed Oracle for a bit longer. Though I will wait and see what the next task might be. Because some of the tasks are going to be such a dead giveaway that there's no point swapping cars. So I think one of them is like driving drive on the wrong side of the road for 30 seconds or a minute or something like that. It doesn't matter what colour car I'm in then. They're going to know it's me. Or drive in reverse. Or I think one of them is like roll your car. So yeah, stuff like that. We could, uh, we could well get that is going to be one of them. Please don't, yeah, there's one of them. Please don't pay it. Yeah, see, it, it, at night, this colour's not enough of a giveaway. Uh, I mean, it was more scraping on the wall than anything at that point, but... Because, <laughs> yeah, it, it just looks like a dark-coloured oracle, unless you're really focusing on it. You can't, you can't scrutinise every single car you drive past as a hunter. It's impossible. Um, I have tried being a hunter when we did some live streams of this, and you just couldn't scrutinise everything. It would be impossible, because there's just so much going on. Um... That one would have got a better look, but it's still quite a dark coloured car here at night. I mean, I'm glad I got this one now. I mean, as I said, the brown... It... 
some cars do spawn in brown. I don't know if an oracle is. I certainly, I would get away with a little bit like this. But if they kept seeing a brown oracle, it would be very suspicious. So, yeah, we can maybe do a couple of tasks with it incognito at best as it gets daylight. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Time is up. So that is completed. The task is done. Oh, they've seen something. They think they've seen something. That's normally what the flares mean. They shoot off flares with the blimp when they think they've seen me. As a, I think, or sometimes they do anyway. As a kind of, look, come over here, sort of a thing. Which is, yeah, pretty sensible. At the end of the day. I, I am going to, though, because I did see it happen. I'm going to wander the opposite direction to that. Um, there's not really much more I can do here. I suspect some AI shenanigans has uh, <laughs> has been afoot, and that is what has drawn everyone's attention. But uh, or they just pressed the wrong button. That is also a distinct possibility. So there we go. Task has been completed. What will the next one be? Uh, recite a Chris quote. Oh, okay. Um, I mean. Bloody hell. <laughs> My favourite... Well, there's so many Chris quotes. The one that springs to mind is, Can a ball fall over? There you go. There is there is a wonderful Chris quote for you all. Um, can a ball fall over? And there we go. Task is completed. Um, and we didn't need to swap the car. It's still dark enough that we can get away with it. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> that is that is good news. That is good news indeed. Uh, I'm gonna follow this lot. A bike's half tempting, you know. I mean, it's dangerous, and depending on what the task could be, um, it, it, it might. Uh... Oh, that car was not paying attention. That Phoenix was also not really paying attention to the lines very well. Um, but yeah, okay. Brown Oracle is. Ble if I can go the whole time, you know, it's, it's not quite the frostiest of gold browns, but it's close enough. Um, I say, well, no, it was just drive a brown car. It didn't have to be a specific shade of brown. It is just it's close enough to AI colours that I'm getting away with it for the moment. Um, what is this next task going to be? Please don't be like visit the pier. We're so far away. <laughs> it's been such a long drive. Uh, I don't even know if I want to be in this lane because the AI is expecting me to turn right, I would presume. Normally they do in this one. Again, I'll wait and see the task, ideally, if I want to go straight on, whether I want to go right. I mean, if it's a task, change into suit for a minute. Okay. I mean, I don't want to do it here. If I can find somewhere to stop, I can wear the suit. Um, I feel like the suit isn't the worst. It's such a shame I can't do it inside the car. <laughs> uh, the blimp is a little bit further back. Yeah, if I can just find somewhere to pull over. Go. Come on, Phoenix. Go. See, I'm happy to go this way because... Uh, actually, I can just pull in here. And, I mean, the blimp might see a car down this bit. But the blimp... I saw the blimp in the distance. Right. The problem I've got, the annoying bit with this, is so we can put the suit on, and we have got the timer is a go. My The annoyance for me here is that I've got to do this all again when I have to change out of it. So I've got to pull over and stop. Uh, but it's fine. If we stick around the industrial bit here, should be okay. It, it, but this is a real big shoot. All it takes is one hunter. I mean, we've already had two or three people go past this car now. Uh, not not notice it. Um, we've got 30 seconds left. I mean... We, we spend so much time sat at traffic lights that honestly... <laughs> it's sort of alright. Um, like these aren't really the worst things in the world because most of the minute is just spent at a set of lights and unless someone happens to be looking or is at the right place at the right time... I don't really ever get pinged. Um, we've been lucky in that this task has been done while or it's been drawn while we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. So we can do this, and there is the timer. Uh, right, let's just. Oh no! Uh, oh, that will do. Get back in the car. Let's see what this next task is. 
whether I need to change my carver or not. It's probably getting a little bit... It's starting to get a bit of a big risk now. Oh, I thought they were almost in sync behind us with their uh, with their dancing. Yeah, it's almost starting to get a bit silly of a risk with this car. But I do want to see what the task is, because if it's something that's going to get me spotted, I might as well keep, as I said earlier, I might as well keep the fast car for it. What have we got? What? Uh, I don't know what the truck is doing. I would. It would be funny if someone drove past the brown car and didn't look at it. I think they'd look at it because they'd tell Ewan about it. If they found <laughs> normally brown cars, you and is informed. Drive on the wrong side of the road for a minute, and that is a hundred percent why I have kept the uh, fast car. Well, there's no real point hanging around. Well, is there a point in hanging around? I guess there's a point in. I know where I can go actually. Um, the problem is, is that we would. Where will we will get? The blimp is about we'll get spotted. Uh, well, that's technically not the wrong side of the road there a little bit. Um, I don't really want to go on the main bit of motorway, but I do want to go on this bit. Because it's slightly out of the way, although this I might get crashed into. Ugh. Hello! Don't mind me, don't mind me. Please don't let there be any people around. Hello. <laughs> Forgot about how heavy the traffic was on this part of the motorway. That's the downside of this, but it's kind of safer than other bits of the city. Um... All is fine, all is less fine. Hello. Hello, don't mind don't mind the brown car. Somehow still not dinged. Um Don't jinx it though. Please timer be but actually if I go up here I might get stuck on the wrong side of the motorway for technically a little bit longer. There it is. Uh the phone is a going. Uh can I get back on the right side? Please. Uh, oh well I mean there's another frosty brown car. Frosty brown, frosty gold. There was another car this same colour, so I think we got it. <laughs> I don't know where the blimp. I've not seen. I've not seen the blimp since that kind of flare scare earlier on. Hmm. I'm keeping the turbocharged monster. Could I complete? I don't think I. Could. There's going to be a task that will involve me damaging the car or something. There's going to be something come up. I can't imagine I would be able to keep a car the whole way through a Taskmaster. But I do kind of want to keep the brown car the whole way through a Taskmaster one as well. Uh, you never know. You never know. Tweet GTA location. Uh, right. I didn't know this was one. Uh, don't tweet and drive. I mean, the, the chat. I say the chat. The hunters are going to know this one. Uh, right. This. Uh, I'm. Don't tweet and bloody drive is a uh, good one. I don't even know where I am. I'm just going to call it the Mega Bridge. This is dangerous. Oh, God. <laughs> no one is going to understand that. Um, no, I don't have time to write context because I'm on the mega bridge. And that's the best way to describe I'm so screwed because there is no good way off the mega bridge. How is Stevie not clogged? The uh, They're going to just roadblock it. Idea. Stevie was looking the other way. This is within the rules. I tweeted where I was. You know, there, I'm not breaking any of the rules. But don't you bloody dare. Don't be a hunter. No, because it's out of render distance. A hunter can uh, ping in and out of uh, render distance there. If they know I'm on there, they will block either side. Because there's no, there's no other way off other than those. Aside from this, which is why when I did it, I did a very quick U-turn because Stevie was going to block that end. Uh, we can get off here, and I want to shift. Oh, will the blimp have seen that? I don't know. Oh, get here. I don't know whether the blimp will will have seen that one. I want to get out. I want to get just to a roady bit quickly. Blimp is up that end. We are away. Uh, let's get away from the mega bridge. Oh, that's dicey. Okay. There's going to be a lot of roadblocks going on on that bridge, and I am not there. They did not get a roadblock 
two there. Play with the controller upside down. This is another one minute task. Okay, I've got to set my phone once again. Oh, get off there. I need to... Okay, you know, actually, I don't care if that car's stuck at, look at, stuck at the lights. Because I've got to do that right. Controller is upside down. I can't visually show you this. Um, I haven't got a webcam or anything going at the moment. But uh, we have got... We are driving with the controller upside down. If I get in a chase now, I am absolutely screwed. Because uh, <laughs> there's no way I could drive in a chase like this. Uh, right, I actually want to go this way because I want to avoid the mega bridge uh, direction. I don't know if someone is going to be... Can't... I uh, can't... How do I look behind? Is it that one? Yep, that's really difficult to press. <laughs> this is horrible. Don't like this at all. Please stop. I want traffic lights. This is better. Okay, traffic lights are good. Um, okay, bi bike would possibly be a good idea. Ah, there's a train. The train has turned up. Please phone beep and buzz at me any second now because I'm at red lights and red lights are safe. Okay. Um, come on. Oh, no, wait. That was... I don't know why. All right, there we go. Right. Controller is back the right way up. We are all sorted. Oh. That... That was a horrible combination of events. Especially if I had still been on the bridge and there had been people around looking. I would... Because I dove off the bridge in sort of a clever way, we could do that while everybody was rushing to the bridge. I say I dove off the bridge in a clever way. Ah, oh, taxi! Uh, so, this is one where we've got to go and pick up Danger Man and drive... Da so we'll pick up Danger Man and then we'll have a location. Oh, that was a terrible... Terrible turn. Uh, we pick up Danger Man. We drive Danger Man to a location. So I know where they are. Uh, they're at the movie studio. Uh, is where they're uh, stood doing this. So we will wander over there. We'll pick up Danger Man. I don't know if I can technically do this while I'm in a chase. I guess in theory I could. If I got like a little... Like if I got a big enough gap to swing by Danger Man, stop, grab Danger Man, and then get going again. I guess I theoretically could. Be a very big risk, but it would be possible. I'm not aiming to do that. I think I'd be better off losing... We've got the speed in this car. That's the thing. Like I, oh, I say we, said, we have got the speed. I should have the speed in this car. Uh, to... Make this work. I'm glad I'm seeing a lot of, like, brown cavalcades around. It actually makes me feel a little bit more... I think I'm going to get spotted for being in a brown car. I, I know I know you're sitting there saying, well, I should change car. I know I should. If I want... Again, the thing is that this task is going to put me not incognito. Because there is zero way to... There's zero way to disguise a person in your car. I was going to go to the left lane, but I didn't know if Lado was going to check us. I think pretty sure it's Lado driving the demon car. Uh, so that's what I've got over here. We're taking a slightly longer route, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to sit at some more traffic lights is the problem. An extra set of lights for us here. Uh, I mean, rain is good. We want it to be murky and foggy. We want it to have as poor visibility as possible, because then my car looks less noticeable. <laughs> that's essentially what we're going for here. Make it as... as least as, as as yeah miserable as day possible and then they're less likely to see the brown car the fact, I mean, the fact is Stevie just drove past it and didn't even glance at it on the motorway um, with that pickup so although if Stevie drives past it again how many brown oracles do you see not this is what I say one time it's fine but multiple times is when it starts getting suspicious it's a risk I'm going to take on this one for the moment. I'm only doing it because it's modified. If it wasn't modified, I wouldn't do this. Um, but I do want to keep the turbo car. Um, there's a mess of traffic going on here. Uh, I mean, so far we've managed to avoid a lot of lights, but I think we're going to be stuck at a lot of... Uh, you know what, screw it. <laughs> I'm impatient. There's no one around. I mean, running the odd red light is really unlikely to get you spotted. Now, the reason why I say this is the traffic lights don't sync perfectly, and hell, the AI do weird and wacky things anyway. If you run lots of them, well, you might get unlucky. Um, hunters might notice it, but a lot of the time, they've got to cover so much ground. Oh, beans. 
Now, uh, Stevie's just parked at uh, the Square of Squares, and this could be a problem for us. Because that's the one, the one car I really didn't want to meet, is the one car that has got parked, although it has also just driven off. Oh, thank God for that. I was actually going to use this truck as cover as well. I was going to go turn uh, left. Not that I wanted to, but I would have done it to try and uh, lend it. Just, just to make it so that you would... That the hope is is that I would be ever so slightly um, hidden. I don't want to stay behind this truck that much, though, because it has a broken tail light, which a player would notice. And then they might look at that, and they might look around, and then they might look at the brown car. So... <laughs> Oh, this is not my favourite task I've ever had to do. But uh, yeah, I, I I do want to go this way because this takes me the direction I want to head, pretty much. Uh, so as I should also say, for those that might not have seen one of these Taskmaster variants before, uh, the way this works, the hunters have a rough idea of the task I am doing. Some. They are told uh, the vehicle, the task, sorry. So, for example, if my task is, let's say, roll my car. Uh, that one's come up before. They are told that I am trying to roll my car or if I've shot out a tyre and that sort of thing. If it's a task like this where it's a location one, they are given a very vague estimate of... So it's a visit task, as in I am visiting a location. In this case, I am visiting a danger man um, who is at a preset location. And they're given a rough idea, so it could be sort of the top half or the top third of the map, the middle third of the map, or the bottom third of the map. This would be a middle third. Uh, so they give a kind of a rough estimate as to what sort, because there's a lot of visit tasks in this one to kind of narrow it down a little bit. Um, they're given a rough estimate of some of the locations and some of the things I might be might be doing. Uh, so yeah, I mean there's going to be more vehicles buzzing around this bit of the map, but they're not going to, of course, know it at all exactly. You're going to screw up my day. I'm just going to have to go where are you? What are you even trying to do? Why are you going over there? I don't even know what line they were trying to do. Uh, they, they have just lost all of their senses here. I don't want to be on this bit of road anymore. Um, I actually gone slightly the wrong way, but that's fine. There's a 9F wanting to leave the car park. <laughs> I actually don't want to be around that, because that just looks suspicious. Um... I want to go and not be around the 9F leaving a car park. Yeah, it's, it is a perfectly natural piece of AI behaviour. But it doesn't happen very often, so people look at it. Okay, yeah, I can kind of see why you might not really glance much at this. Just looking at the black oracle in front of us. I mean, there's a brown... Thank you, Cavalcade. Oh, the, I, think, I think the brown Cavalcades have actually kind of saved me here. Because there's been enough of them spawning... That there's kind of just the brown cars are about. People aren't really thinking about them very much. So I do believe they are our saviors, really. Uh, what is that? Have I, I might have actually beansed up my way to the movie studio a little bit here, haven't I? I've gone... Where is the bloody thing? It's over there, isn't it? I've gone slightly... I've gone a slightly wonky... No, I think we can... We'll still make it. But I've got a slightly wonky way. <laughs> Uh, there was a drifty, drifty Rolls Royce about the place. There is a drifty, drifty uh, gauntlet. I'm going to presume it's Blakey because it's in orange. So <laughs> that's normally you can normally uh, determine that it's Blakey because it's in orange. Um, oh, it's up here. If we take a left here, I think we're good, good to get to the movie studio, shouldn't we? Um, ish. Right, somewhere around here. Is the movie? Take a left here, and then it's the next left, I think. It's then I'm on. Then I'm on the road that I wanted to be on. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got a little bit of a fiddly way around. It might not be perfect, but it's good enough for me. Uh, oh, and the lights have even gone green at the perfect time. Lovely stuff. Blimpus is about. I'm a little bit concerned. I mean, we do have to take a turn that no AI car does, and there is a Ewan. Oh, I thought Ewan was going to wipe out a 9F. Ewan did not wipe out a 9F. On, let me just go and pick up Danger Man. I don't know whereabouts in the movie studio Danger Man is. That is the slight concern here. Uh, we could wander into here and not be able to find Danger Man easily. So, uh, I really hope they're in an obvious position. Otherwise, we could be in trouble. 
game. Can I have a green light now? We're close. We're so close to the movie studio. Please go green. I don't want to jump this one because there's too many hunters around at the moment. Uh, as I say that, we are about to go and drive into the movie studio itself. Please. Thank you. Uh, there is Danger Man. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, thankfully they were right by the uh, way we were coming in. Uh, right, barrier, go. Okay, we will just spit our car out here. And then we will wait to be told where we have to drive. Um, yeah, don't quite know. A casino. All right, that's not to the worst in the world. Uh, that is less than ideal. Did Lado pay attention to it? No, I don't think so. So my goal is to try and get to the casino dealing with the least amount of big roads. Uh, which is why we're going down here. I, just, I think there's a phoenix in the background there that kind of looked a bit like Lado's car. The, I can't remember what they said. Is Imperator? Is that the name of the thing? Uh, essentially the Mad Max car. Um, so yeah, if we drive, we wander all the way down here and then we kind of go by the stadium... Yeah, if we go by the stay, we get on the motorway maybe. Where does the mo? Where do we join the motorway here that goes to where I want? I don't know the motorway network on this game. That's the problem. <laughs> that's that's the difficult bit. Uh, I'm just trying to visualise the map. I guess we went. Uh, there's a lot of hunters around here. We are in a precarious, precarious place. Um, Stevie's just got a punt from a Blakey. If they like, if they stop to inspect this car, I just boot it. There's no, there's no reason to wait. I can never blend in. You can never blend in with two people in the car. I believe it's something that can happen in GTA Online, but it's super rare. If they see two people in a car, they are killing them, basically. Uh, so yeah, we have got no way to blend out of this one, uh, other than just uh, hope we don't get spotted. Hope they're too busy looking other directions. We might be in a spot of bother here. Uh, there are cars around. It's just like, if they drive past us like that, they're fine. Is if they slow down, is when we're probably less fine. Uh, we're less fine now. Yeah, I'm not re I can't, can't risk it. We just gotta go. Because the chances are they will have seen two people in that car. Oh! Right. Go, 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 Oracle. Rain is not good for me here. Uh, rain is, is not the best for me. We've got to be a speedy taxi service uh, right now. And we can... The thing we can do is make the most of this car's speed. We can drop Danger Man off while in a chase. Especially because I'm hoping we can pull some distance to these cars with a modified Oracle. Uh, hello, Phoenix. We've seen you a few times uh, in all of this. Yeah, we can pull at such great distance, I could stop, let Danger Man out, and then carry on the chase. I mean, I say I don't really want to. It is definitely something, though, that we can do in an emergency. That thing is... Oh, where is that truck going? Don't know. The Rolls Royce is quick, although I think it's on slidey tyres, which probably won't be the best thing in the world. Uh, for... <laughs> for this, we will bail left through there. Yep, it's had an accident. Okay. So yeah, my current goal is to get to the casino, drop Danger Man off, deal with the rest of the chase. Because at least we will have completed that task, and then we can just use the straight light speed of this. I know mean, this is not the most exciting escape we could ever go for, but um, I know we're going to be vulnerable for a minute while we drop Danger Man off uh, here. So we around the outside of that one. Uh, where is the entrance to... Oh. The casino, not there. There's a bloody car in the way. That's fine. Whoop. Okay, right, Danger Man, you are going to have to jump out real quick, my friend. Go, 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 go. Right, Danger Man's gone. <laughs> it was the swiftest exit. <laughs> it was a wonderfully, wonderfully stylish exit. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a bad bit. That's a, well, I mean, I've actually kind of screwed myself up, but it's kind of worked as well. Um, that's not quite what I intended on doing, but you know what, I'll take it. Um, 
we got confused by a wall, we actually got beaten by the one bit of concrete. However, I think I can kind of turn this into a little bit of a sneaky win for me. Um, because I don't know whether- oh, there's a Ewan back there. The blimp has- ah, oh, the blimp's got turned as well. That could have gone worse. Uh, it was helped by the fact that the cars that followed actually did make it onto the motorway. Uh, alright. Speed! <laughs> Speedy Oracle! Uh, time to go. Or uh, Ewan's car is not fast in a straight line. It will not match the turbocharged Oracle. Uh, oh, next task, lock onto the blimp. I, I will do that. I can't do that yet, because that would involve getting out of my car. Something which uh, would be risky. Hey, hello. Uh, okay, Oracle. Go, 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 go. Ewan went straight on. Someone went straight on back there, so... Oh, damn. They did a pretty good job of trying to cut us off there. Go! <laughs> Move, Oracle! Cause, I mean, that, that crash was... I mean, that was actually very cinematic, as the crash came from me trying to swerve and avoid the... Uh, uh, Windsor, that's the one, as it uh, pulled out to block us in. Uh, or is it, I mean, it wasn't really trying to block us in, they were just... They were doing a good job of kind of fanning out and searching distance, so that when Ewan, for example, didn't see me make the turn, they had someone that was there to see it. Uh, I suspect that will see me make this turn. Now, I'm going to try and play Silly Buggers, because that's on slidey tyres, I think? Maybe? It certainly seems to be struggling a little bit in places. Uh, although the Silly Buggers are not really... not really worked to my advantage well enough there, have they? Um, can I be cheeky here? Um, not well enough. No, I mean, I was trying to be clever. The hope was, is it would look the wrong way, or just something that... <laughs> It was worth a go. It was worth a go, and that confuses the crap out of the blimp, because the blimp will struggle with that sort of manoeuvring. Um, close confines, it can't really follow. But I can't see where the blimp is, and now I've not really got any more of those kind of alleyways to play with. I can go back to my other strategy of just blinding speed. Blinding speed is good. I like blinding speed as an option. So let's do that one uh, at the moment, because this is something the blimp can't do. The blimp will never follow this, and I think we might be far enough away from the Windsor that it's going to struggle as well. I mean, it's getting to night time. Don't know if the blimp even has a clue where we've gone. Uh, we will just shoot this direction. Hope that none of the hunters... The blimp surely won't be able to see us doing this. Oh. We can bail off at a point, and then I've got to try and do something about the car. Oh, no, I slightly bail on the wrong road. So now we're going back towards the chase. I don't want to do that. I want to go away from the chase. Um, I want to go this way, kind of. I think it's worked, to be honest with you. The blimp's gone the wrong way. But I have to ditch. Ah, oh, it's, a, it's a great... Uh, I don't technically have to ditch the car. This is brazen, to say the least. <laughs> go, 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 go. I, there is nothing that says I can't do this in the rules. There is a there is a risk because the hunter's cars may be broken and they may um, go in here to repair. So, yeah, there's nothing to say that I can't do this, but there is risks that go with it. Right, we'll go with graphite for this and graphite for the top. And I get to keep the modified beast. <laughs> Because, I mean, it was a bit touch and go in that one. It just so happened that we got out of the chase at the perfect place to do this. Um. Oh, no! Bugger! Bugger! Uh, <laughs> that and that, there you go. That's, that's the risk. That hunters are around that area. Uh, that, they, that I might try a trick like that. It was a pretty... I'd, I'd say that was a pretty good... Uh, it was a good theory, but you do see the difficulty now in that manoeuvre. Is that all it takes is a hunter to go and repair their car because they think the chase is over. And I'm stuffed. Now, the postlude isn't particularly fast. Oh, they've got the gauntlet is quick. They've got a good selection of cars back there, which is going to make this a bit more difficult. And now, yeah, should I have changed cars at that point? Maybe I should have done. You know, maybe the strategy of ditching the car, that probably would have been the way to go. Um, we tried something a little bit different. I didn't want to lose my turbo, and we paid the price for it in this one. 
but you never know. I mean, again, it goes to show a lot of people have said I should do that, and now you see the, the difficulty in achieving that. Uh, they know I'm going to jump up here. My hope is, is that they might not have been close enough to see me swap over here. I think one did. Uh, can I be really sneaky here? I don't know if anyone followed me, you know. Will, do you reckon they'll just search every oracle they see now? I mean, we've done silly buggers on the motorway. I don't know how the hell I'm ever going to lock onto the blimp. We really need, like, a chase to be over, properly over, over, for me to contemplate this. I think we're out. I think we're done. I think we've got away. The blimp definitely doesn't know where the hell we are. Ooh. Do I brave? I mean, we took no damage. Do I brave keeping this car? This is the real question now. I kind of want to try and do a whole one in one car. It would be awesome to do it. Where can I go? to try and lock on to the blimp. So I think we're going to be close enough to do it. I don't know how far the lock on will reach. The car park roofs are great. I mean, if I lock on to the blimp... I feel like if I lock on to the blimp, I almost might as well shoot. But the, the thing is, I don't have to shoot. So the reason why I wouldn't is if I lock on to the blimp, I can freak out the pilot. Sure. If I don't fire the rocket, they won't know where I am. They'll just know that I have seen them. If I fire the rocket, they will know they'll see the trail. And there's no guarantee I'll take it down. They could have countermeasures and all of that sort of stuff. So. It's difficult. It's difficult, this one. And the other thing is... It relies on it being in range. It relies on it being close. And I don't know where it is at the moment. And I could go and try and chase it. And waste my bloody time. Chasing the damn thing. I know there's a roof around here. Because I went on it in the last Survive the Hunt. Because I had police after me. Um, it's one of these buildings down here we can dive in. But it just it relies on the blimp being in the right location. And if the blimp isn't there... How long do I wait? If I chase it, I could end up chasing shadows for a while and waste time. If I don't chase it, it could never cruise over here. Oh, where was the building bit as well? Because it was a good building area because I could hide my car very discreetly. I just don't remember where I turned off. <laughs> uh, and I, they've got, I mean, they're going to get to a point where they're just going to search every black oracle. I don't think we're quite at that stage yet. I'm just going to go through here because I don't want to wait. I don't... I don't have the time to mess about too much. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, this bit here is good. Uh, I might actually be driving with full beams on for a little while there. Whoops. If I have, that is a big whoops. Uh, right, so I think... The, I mean, the expectation is if I do the lock-on that I'll probably pull the trigger because, well, I've got a lock on it. But I don't want to... I don't want to fire the rocket. I just want to lock on it, complete the task. Um... Where the hell is it, is the question. This is actually not a bad roof. This is not a bad rooftop for scouting. We do get a pretty long range. I think the lock-on will go longer than the rocket will fire. Right? A thing's happened! I did a thing. I broke the thing. I didn't even think I pressed the button. I must have pressed it while smashing buttons to go and climb somewhere, or maybe I was messing through a menu. I don't even remember pressing the button for that to occur. I guess we can carry on a little bit. I'm not 100% sure um, how I've managed to do this. Okay, Danger Man. Danger Man is going to come and kill me, which is uh, going to hopefully resolve this. Uh, we're going to have to take a little slight pause while we fix this. Um, so, yeah. Bear with We've slightly broken the game, and I think I might have lost my car. <laughs> oh. Bugger. Right. Small technical 
interlude aside, uh, I am back. I guess my punishment for this is we've kind of been reset. I'm on foot, don't have my nice fast car, and still got to try and lock on to a bloody blimp. Uh, I mean, I might, my, my, my best bet is still, I think, what we were doing. Let's grab this ruiner. That building was one of the best options I think I'm going to get for this by virtue of it can overlook a lot of the city. I do have to hope the blimp comes cruising towards me, but I think if I just try and... Um, oh, the blimp's crashed and been destroyed, so I <laughs> just got the message. I think we might have to have a redo. Um, right, this is one of the, the, one of the difficulties um, we have with... Uh, with a game mode like this, is that an AI in a limo? That didn't look like a player. That really didn't look like a player driving that. It didn't drive in a player-ish way. Um, I'm just completely thrown by that. But yes, when we have a game mode like this where there's a little bit... Well, there's a lot of it, of course, is, is made up by us. Sometimes things can go wrong. Sometimes things don't quite go to plan. Sometimes things uh, don't quite work when everything's live, basically. So we have to have a little bit of wriggle room to change stuff. And in this case, yeah, we're going to have to have a little bit... I think I missed those lights tonight, but never mind. Um, yeah, sometimes we have to have a, a little bit of leeway to uh, change some some things around. Uh, so we'll see what task we might end up getting done. I mean, this ruiner is nothing compared to the Turbo Beast that we have... Uh, <laughs> that we have lost. I missed the Turbo Beast. Um, it would have despawned by now. It's too far away. I didn't put a tracker thing in it. Um, and I feel like it should be the punishment for me managing to go somehow go... I thought I turned off those. Maybe I turned off on the base... On the old version of the game and forgot to do it when I got onto this one. Probably that, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know why that car's been so eager to go. It's just... I'm just... If they start doing that, I'm just gonna go... Um, cool mercenaries. Oh, now I like this. I mean, I hate to say we know what's going to happen. But you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do Hello, what you expect. You security. see, the person who's got closest to getting me actually is Stevie. So we're going to send mercenaries after someone different. You all were expecting me to call them on Lado. I know you were. And I was mostly expecting myself to call them on Lado, but instead I have decided to call them on Stevie. Um, just for... For no real reason, but... Stevie's got closest to us on a number of occasions. I feel like it seems as good idea as any to, uh, to do that. Uh, <laughs> this is when I get killed by the mercenaries' bloody, like, crossfire somewhere. Um, it honestly wouldn't surprise me, <laughs> knowing my luck. Is that Stevie up ahead? Stevie and Blakey were hanging around. Oh, whoever it was just got absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> oh, I'll go for a swim. I'll go, where can I go swimming? Uh, I mean, the hills are always... We are close to the hills. Oh, yeah, that, that was Stevie. I thought it was Stevie's truck because uh, there's, there's the Merryweather Jeep. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't even know Stevie was still close, but uh, that is incredibly well... The hill, I mean, the problem is, the hills is the easiest place to go for a swim, but they also all bloody know that as well. Um, I don't really like going up here, but for want of a better idea. Otherwise, because you don't have a crazy amount of time left in this. So, I think we're best off just trying to find... I mean, most of these houses will have pools, I should imagine. Um... So I'm trying to find a house that I can, like, walk into. This one here has an open gate. Uh, so we can... Oh, crap. Did, did, did they see me? It is possible that they did. <laughs> it is possible that they did. I mean, hello, everybody. I have gone for a swim. Oh, there's a big old party going on out here. Hello, folks. How's it going? I have a feeling. I have a feeling they might know where I am, judging by the amount of people currently running away. Jeez, what the hell was that? Well, the party's over. 
Where did that explosion come from? Don't know. I don't like that. Man, my ruin is still there. I'm going to wait and see what the next task is, just in case it's one I can do on foot before I go grab the ruiner, because I'm kind of safe in here. There are cars driving around, but the AI cars themselves can be surprisingly noisy in all of this. Um... hell did happen? Oh, maybe, because, well, we did see, see these trucks, so maybe it was the mercenaries. Maybe that firefight. Yeah, the mercenaries are having their own firefight, so I think, maybe I shouldn't have called it in on the pe person that's closest to me. Or, I say, was close to me at some point. He's got closest to seeing me. Uh, they have just driven off. Yeah, I'll just go wait until we see what the next challenge is. Because if it's, like, change clothes or wear a mask or something, I can do that. I might as well be out of the car while I while I do that. Um, oh, that's not a bad moment. I didn't quite mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, the party's back. Can't, well, I say the party's back. Well, there's them two are back. Hello. Woo. <laughs> Destroy. Oh no, bugger! That's miles away. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I'm not I'm gonna run out of time. I don't actually know what number task I'm on. I've gotta wait for that to get out of the way. I'm about ten minutes. There's too much shenanigans going on. There's a lot of shenanigans going on here. Right. Oh, that gate's bloody indestructible. Definitely, there's already something noisy moving around. So the pre is located um, at the Chinese monument. I mean, so this is task, so this is task number ten for some reason. Uh, Danger man's GTA wasn't letting them type number ten in the text filter. Uh, so we are close in terms of the time limit. We are close in terms of the amount of tasks completed. Not sure the ruin is. If we get in a chase now, we're kind of done. There's a lot of police around. There's a lot of mess around currently. Uh, what is the quickest way to the... Well, I just watched an AI do this. By the looks of it, Stevie's truck has seen better days. <laughs> um... the quickest way there. If we take a left here, we can kind of be sort of ready. How do we get there? I think it's just straight on for a bit, and then we'll have to wiggle around. Uh, and I'm going to just pretend that that's a green light. <laughs> kind of got to a little bit. These busier junctions, we don't get away with it quite as well. Uh, Eh, screw it. So if I have an AI car turning, it looks legit enough that I don't know if anyone's going to question it. Uh, oh, another brown car. There have been many a brown car in this one. Many a brown car going on. Uh, I feel like this is a slight pseudo rule that I've not told anybody about before, but I feel like if we get to the hour mark, if I'm in a chase at the hour mark, I can... I can win by escaping, whether that be by boat or by plane or something. Maybe. Maybe we can try that. Um, I mean, we're close. We're close to the... Close-ish to the challenge. We have Leicester. We haven't really had police trouble for us, which is nice. I wonder if I would have been better off just grabbing a supercar. Because we're right by the end of this now, so they'd have to scramble and get supercars. No, it's not the worst idea I've ever had. It really isn't. If this Audi stops... It's not going to stop because it's going to want to turn the same way we are. If I can do a quick swap car, I absolutely will. Because if 
we get spotted now, we're probably going to be running for a while, and I might as well break the supercar rule when we don't have many tasks left to do. Because they won't have time to adjust their cars, or they'll use a lot of their time trying to adjust their cars that they that then I can make the most of. Okay, this is a little bit dicey, but... Okay, close the door. Did I just smash the window closing the door? No, I didn't. Uh, holy crap, how did I get away with that? You would must have thought that car in there... It may have despawned. I couldn't have despawned quick enough, could it? How did I get away with that? Hey, the mercenaries were successful! Nicely done, Merryweather. 10 out of 10. Lovely work. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I, we're going to time out, I think, on this one, annoyingly. Uh, we might have to... Uh, I think I'm just going to have to go for it in a second. Because we don't have very well, much hello. time. Do I don't know exactly okay, how much time well, I do go. have. But I think we've got to go uh, a little bit here. Because otherwise I'm just going to get stuck in lights for a lot of this. Uh... Right, hope there's no hunters around. I mean, if I can try and do it, if I see a hunter, I will go into stealthy, stealthy mode. But I think up until that point, we've got to try and just go. Whoop. That'll do. All right, Audi, get over there. Explosion away. Didn't really mean to go this way, but it'll do. It'll work. It's going to put me out in front of the police station. However, actually, if I can turn down this way. Okay, let's see what the next task is. With, with the whole bloody uh, beast thing, I completely the time's all balked for me, so I'm not actually 100% sure on, on the timings. Uh, I'm hoping I'll get a message when time, if, if time expires. I have a feeling we might end up in a chase at some point, although we are quite well hidden down this part. I doubt we're going to run into anybody. Um, Alright, I, I think I should have booted it to the pre sooner. Although, you saw how close that truck got to me. That was so close. If I'd booted it much sooner, we would have been. We would have got the chase. I guess we could have blown the pre up. It really depends on what the task is. What does it come up with? I don't know why I'm keeping moving here. Um, what is going to be the next task? Don't want to go to the city just yet. I don't want to give them cause. Visit the casino. Okay, I think I've got to go for it now. If we're going to do this, um, we have to boot it. Because uh, it's so far away. Bloody casino. Uh, I, if, I feel like if we get the last task, we should be allowed to try and complete it. Uh, how can I get to the casino stealthy? Like, it's not going to be very stealthy. Like, is it? Is that Stevie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bloody hell, why are there so many of them about here? They're not looking this way. Right, go, Audi, go, 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 go. Actually, this is the quickest way to the casino. I'm going this way just because it's less likely to be looked at. Although, uh, 9F absolutely bombing it around here. It's going to be obvious wherever the hell you are. Because um, it's not like we're incognito at the moment, is it now? Uh, speed, 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 speed. All of the speed. I'm glad I, I did, glad I did change to this. This is about the only thing that might give us half a chance to do this in time. Because, uh, yeah, we are now starting to be really pushed for time. Is this road going to take me out where I want it to? Don't know. Don't I say I don't care. Uh, bike would also be another fun option for this. If we just go all the way down. I don't want to be in the online traffic. Why am I out here? Whee, that's better. <laughs> Uh, oh, 12 is going to be Escape the Chase. Oh! Ugh. Right, so I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we can visit the casino. We've then got to get out, uh, which I have got the car to do this in, at least, which is something. I think we're just, we're going to be so close on time here with getting to the casino. Uh, oh, we're going to clip that. That's fine. Right, casino and then airport, I guess, is going to be the way to do this. Um, come on, come on, 9F. I think we're going to make it with seconds to spare, pretty much. There is the blimp. Oh, crap. <laughs> right. Oh, 
Casino visited. Well, more the car park visited. We've been here bloody twice today. Right, let's go. 9F. Oh, this was a good call for a car. Uh, there was a lot of people around there. I don't actually know if they saw where I went. <laughs> Which does kind of help me. Do they actually know where I went? Did they see me? I don't actually know if they did. <laughs> Uh, could we go back to blending in? I mean, in theory, I guess we could. Uh, if no one knows what I'm- Ah, oh, no, they do know what I'm in. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there was a good theory. Um, we were trying to go for the blending in. Oh, something else dropped down as well. Into here. This is where the cheese- Oh, a supercar at the end. There is the Rolls Royce. That's turned up uh, as well. Yeah, the kind of cheese a supercar right at the death is the way to go. Now, I might be able to, if I can shake them. And they're not, the blimp isn't close. Oh, blimp is not close at all. Um, if I can shake them, I could maybe get a helicopter. The question is, how far away am I going to be? There's a car back there. The blimp's not really in this. We might be able to do this. Oh! There is a possibility they could have, if there is somebody over this part of the map, they might be directing them to where they think I'm going to go. So we might, if we walk into a hail of bullets, we drive the car into the water. Uh, that is basically what we're going to do. If there is someone here, there is not someone here. 9F, out. God, it takes a long time, these animations. Now this is where I'm going to be vulnerable. If the helicopter can't get in the air fast enough, we could well get shot at. Uh, Chopper, go, 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 go. They are over that way. I mean, I guess the blimp might be able to see us. I don't think the blimp could see us. I think there are some cars down there. There's definitely a car down there. Uh, there's, there's definitely a hunter whizzing around on the floor. They just could not quite get into position. The way we snuck our way through the casino was actually really helpful. I saw the yellow... What was it, like the Kanjo, I think, the new Kanjo? Uh, was around. But, uh... They just didn't quite... I don't think they quite saw the 9F bomb its way through the, uh... Um... Casino very well. And there we go. I thought about stopping to a plane, but a helicopter will do the job! We have done it! Through a lot of luck... <laughs> I don't mean, admittedly, the final one. Uh, we were we were cutting it very close on that. We messed it up a little bit with the beat. I, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen until, as I said, that's the fun of all of this kind of being live and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, we did it. We survived. That oracle was awesome. That oracle was fantastic. We did have some good chases in there. Uh, by the end, I could just get a 9F on the motorway. And... They just didn't have the blimp facing the right direction or anything like that to really deal with it. So, there we go. That shall be it for this uh, for this video as we leave Los Santos behind us. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>